being institution that puts the Torah studies first, that makes the Torah environment so important while a student is having an amazing college program. That's what makes us unique among some other points. TI's uniqueness, if I may say so, is that every student is a Bat Yechida. There is an incredible amount of nurturing, mentoring, individualized attention for every student, both academic as well as religious and spiritual. No one is taken for granted. And that I don't think there is another institution that I'm aware of in the United States that can claim the same sort of thing. This is meant to be a seminar. It's meant to be a place where a girl can be kaveya herself. There's people to speak to, there's people to ask. There's hadracha. The main emphasis of TI is to give to the girls what they may need in a very straight way, a very open way, a very honest way, and to, to, to help the girls get to the higher level that they can get to. I was looking into other universities before I chose TI, but in the end, I decided to go to TI because I felt that the environment that is cultivated there is best for each person's unique growth. That in perhaps larger or more prestigious universities, the students become clumped in this nameless, faceless entity that just exists and you cannot form your own depth. And I felt that at TI, you really have the opportunity to become your own person, to cultivate yourself even after seminary. Our students come from around the world and from around the corner. They come from various seminaries, from Michalalan from BJJ, from Hadar and Shalavim for women. They have one common thread, and that is that they all want to grow religiously and academically. They want to fulfill their dreams and be Mekadah Shem Shemayim. We send the girls out. You know, we are the last step. We have to teach them Lamaisa when you're going to be young wives, when you're going to be working, how you should bring hashkafas into your life. And that's, I think, something that TI is very successful at, to teach the girls how to live lives with Taradik hashkafas. And the hashkafas are pure, the hashkafas are wonderful, the hashkafas are very mainstream and central. And therefore it appeals to everyone. It's a very open institution because it appeals to everyone, because the Torah appeals to everyone. The fact that it's not a huge, it's not a big institution, gives the students the opportunity to be in contact with the teachers, with the rebbein, with the administration. I do find that it's a smaller and warmer environment where you can really have a more personal relationship with teachers. The small size of the classes is very conducive to each of us being able to get the most out of it. We're able to have a more personal interaction both with each other, the various girls in the class, and with the teacher. We're able to ask more in-depth questions and get more into specifics of the material based on our own ideas that we bounce around, we ask each other, we ask the teacher, and we're really able to flush out the real meaning of what we're talking about. The classes that students take to prepare them for the healthcare field can be very small and therefore very individualized. And that is a great benefit to our students. We've had students come to TI who have graduated from major secular universities and come here to take their healthcare prerequisites and they rate us extremely favorably even in comparison to some of the best secular schools in the country. Graduates of the education programs at TI are effective communicators, critical thinkers, moral practitioners, and proactive educators. They understand how to integrate theory with practice, how to apply best practices, and how to integrate technology and differentiate instruction so that all students can be successful. Our Rebbeim and Mechanchos are, I believe, the, the best that we have in our community. The teachers have proven to be very welcoming to questions. They've proven to really care about the individual growth and the understanding that each girl has about the material. The Rabbanim who teach here, they have their own kehilos, and they open their homes and their, their, their shuls for our students 
to come to ask Shailas or to ask for guidance. And, uh, and that's something that we are very fortunate to have. The teachers here in TI are very approachable. I think they're all very relatable. They understand that students have lives outside of school and that they're also hoping to be as successful as possible in school. They've always been very open to hearing the needs and the views and thoughts, opinions of their students and are very helpful. We're choosing faculty members that not only have the credentials, but that can model the menschlichkeit, can model the kind of language that we want our students to have, the manner of speaking that we want our students to have. The teachers in TI act as role models to the students. They represent what a TI student could hope to be. The classes adequately prepare us to go into the workforce and into other graduate programs. We have students who are pursuing careers in medicine, physician's assistants, dentistry, nursing, speech pathology, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and we do a good job in preparing them for these goals. And the teachers are all extremely, extremely qualified. Most of the instructors in the health professions fields have PhDs from major universities. They are not just teachers, most of them are also working or have years and years of experience in whatever field that they're um, teaching us about. We have a curriculum that is comparable to any school anywhere in the country. We prepare our students to an extremely high level and we have a tremendous success rate of training healthcare professionals who start at TI. The psychology department at TI focuses on preparing students for advanced careers in psychology, social work, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. We prepare students to enter graduate programs throughout the United States. We've had a very high rate of success with our students entering graduate school, both with students getting into and being accepted by various graduate schools of their choice throughout the country, and with them completing their programs and getting their degrees both advanced degrees in speech therapy and doctoral degrees in psychology, as well as MSW degrees in social work. Many girls have successfully completed the coursework in accounting and have gone on to sit for the CPA exam. We have nearly 100% success with our girls passing the CPA exam. And our young ladies, after leaving TI and passing the CPA exam, have jumped into accounting firms and other business organizations and have produced extremely um, wonderful results. We've had a lot of wonderful young ladies go through our business department. Many of them have become successful in their own businesses. Many of them work in community institutions. We've been successfully able to place girls in internships and in jobs, both in Jewish organizations and in other companies. While it is a general business administration degree, it does prepare you for any career really that you want to pursue thereafter. The Department of Education offers two Illinois State licensure programs, one in elementary education and one in special education. We also offer a high school certificate in Judaic Studies, which enables our graduates to teach um, Tanakh at the high school level. And we have a similar certificate for those who want to teach at the middle school and elementary school levels. I'm majoring in education, specifically in Judaic education for secondary school. I've been very well prepared. Our graduates are well prepared to teach in a variety of settings, uh, both in public and private schools. And in fact, they are uniquely qualified to teach in the day school system because they have excellent teacher preparation as well as a strong Judaic background. I'm student teaching now and TI got me a placement and I'm able to really teach what I want to. And I'm very pleased to say that we have an almost 100% employment rates. Our programs actually exceed state standards for teacher preparation programs and we are considered a leader in teacher preparation in the state of Illinois. It is our job to figure out not what professions they should not go into, but how to direct those talents in a manner in a profession and in an avocation that is appropriate to a Bat Yisrael. Mm -hmm. 
I am delighted to say that over the 26 years that I've been at TI, our graduates have built incredible homes. They are not only qualified and knowledgeable, they are actually people that are leaders in their community. And it makes no difference what profession they've chosen. We went and did a survey of the graduates in the last 10 years and found that well over 50% of them are teaching within their communities. They see themselves as having an achayas for the growth of their communities. And it makes no difference if that is in Eretz Yisrael, if it's in Lakewood, if it's in Baltimore, if it's in Chicago, if it's in California. Chicago has a remarkable amount of achadut within the Frum community with all of its shades. This is a place where people not only open up and say good Shabbos, and if you say good Shabbos to them, they will answer. There is a sense that everyone is cherished here. The Chicago Frum community is pretty big, it's varied, it's diverse. I think that there are a lot of really great families who are happy to host TI girls. I know many girls from out of town, from different countries who have come and formed nice lasting connections with families who they're comfortable with. There are lots of restaurants, there are bookstores. There's a really very nice Jewish life here. We make sure that uh, the student body is part of our Shabbatonim, of our different other fun activities, lectures, Malave Malka, Rosh Chodesh. Student government provides a lot of different activities for the students to keep them busy and to have a good time. We have exercise classes and self-defense classes, ski trips, and we have ice skating, we have bowling, we have uh, tours of Chicago. My family uh, and myself are trying to have most of the students on the yearly cycle coming to Shabbos. We try to keep them as our immediate family in Chicago, bringing them to all of our personal simchas. People really form nice friendships and relationships and everybody celebrates their simchos together and studies together and really comes together in a lot of different ways. Once a student is part of TI, once TI, forever TI. And we are there for her when she has to move to find a job, to go to the next stage in life, to build a family, to be part of a community. This is a difficult stage for many girls. And it's, it's our achrayas, to be there for them, to teach them, to teach them aderech hayasher, to help them as much as they may need it. Our graduates know that they can call us um, with any kind of problems or concerns that they have. And in fact, they do on a regular basis. We have an ongoing relationship with our graduates, regardless of where they are. I myself feel that it's my responsibility, it's our mechanchim, mechanchos responsibility to help them find their future spouse. I started in TI after I came home from seminary and I was single and then engaged and married and pregnant and had a baby all while in TI. Everybody was very supportive and encouraging of me the whole way. The school is very encouraging. They're looking for you to be successful in all areas of your life.